Hello and welcome, my name is Frank Fischer and in this video I would like to show you how you can use deep code on your own GitHub repos. I assume you already set up the deep code application in the GitHub account. If you haven't done so, there's another video, it takes you about a minute, not a lot of work. Um, so this is done now and um, what I can do is I can browse to the homepage of deep code, deep code.ai and go on the login. If I go here, I see GitHub, Bitbucket or GitLab um, as the three options and I go on GitHub for now. This brings me to the GitHub login page. I take one of my accounts and log in to GitHub. And that was it. So here are my repos that I um, published for um, deep code. You can see the branches that you can um, select um, by clicking here. And then you have the audit which, bring, which brings you to the um, result set. So for now, let's use the deep code um, log viewer that I have here as a, as a demo. There is one critical report, two warnings. I use the master branch and we can do the audit. Um, what it's opening now is um, the suggestions um, for this um, repo. And as you can see up here, we have the dashboard where we come from. We have the suggestions and the code. You can think like this is drilling down. And if you go backwards, um, you can use this breadcrumb here to go upward again. Um, what you also can do is you can use the filters up here and you can literally say you want to filter regarding the categories of the suggestions. You can switch on and off some of the categories. Um, another important thing is the feedback part here. Um, we are always interested in feedback. So if you have something to tell us, use this one to give us feedback. So on the left side here, you see some statistics. Um, what repo are we on? How many suggestions do we have? How many files scanned? How many files analyzed? And you see the difference. We have four JavaScript files and we have some JSON and, and other things that are not scanned. And the uh, suggestions according to category. On the right side, you see um, these suggestions as individual boxes. So here are the critical ones, here are the warnings. And the critical one um, is an unsanitized input flow. And I would say, let's drill in the code and see where this happens. As you can see, we are now in the code here. This is the code on the left side. Here's the suggestion. And the issue was fixed by 46 projects um, from our um, training code base. And it's an unsanitized input flow. And if you hover over it, you see um, where the thing appears. So here is the flow in from an HTTP parameter. Yeah. Um, and it's used in a SQL query in the get um, call down here. So this is obviously um, a typical SQL injection vulnerability, one of the, I would say, evergreens of web security SQL injection. So this is something we need to check, we need to change for sure. Um, there is the more info button here, which is quite interesting. If you click on it, it will bring you on the website where we explain more. What is a SQL injection? How does this work? How can you um, overcome this um, to give you more information about it? So back to us, back on our um, dashboard here. Um, if we scroll down, you see in which line this happens, which project file it is, um, what kind of problem we have here. You see some example fixes, so what was done on other projects um, in this regard. And again, the opportunity to give us feedback, thumbs up, thumbs down, to help us optimize our own models here, optimize the code in the backend. So what I wanted to show you here was how to use the dashboard, how to use the suggestions and the code pane on your own repos in GitHub. Thanks for watching, but now it's your turn. Go to deepcode.ai, set up an account and see what Deepcode can do for your code.